Previously on Face of the Franchise, oh my god, guess what? Huge shocker. Tommy Matthews, still a bitch. Okay, let's get on with it. Yes, sir. A champion tonight here at Levine Stadium in Santa Clara for the college football playoff. So we're playing the Hurricanes. Game. By some it's grace of God, Tommy Matthews is starting this ball game and not me. Okay, son. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Yeah, coach, I, I just... Tommy. You all right, Tommy? We need some help over here. Hurry. <laughs> I'm you coming in. Back, right? Of course. Always. Then go out there and finish this thing. Shot. That's all any of us ever really gets. I know you're worried about Tommy. Should we all? I'm not. None of us this are. This is your one moment. Now get after it, son. I don't get even get why he benched me. But let's get it! It's dub season, baby. Tommy told me to go out there and finish it. He's literally fucking losing the game. Tommy didn't score a single point in the first half. I'll keep the gameplay short because it's going to be the exact same thing over and over. I'm just going to throw lobs and get free touchdowns. So yeah, I'll try and keep this quick. Oh, just kidding. That's so open. Zelante Jones. He will score. Touchdown, Michigan State. Zelante Jones. Dude, it kind of looked like he was doing that dance to the beat of the Spartan fight song. And that got me pretty amped right now, I'm not gonna lie. BOP! God damn! Get shit on! You're like, come on, man. They really put this on four year old difficulty. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? I'm actually convinced that every Madden game was made by four monkeys in a hut in the middle of the Brazil just smashing their face on a keyboard. All right, OJ. OG, if you catch this, you did not commit the murder. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is a serious question. I know some of you were saying you dropped like 100 plus points. So if I dropped like 130 points in that last game, would I be starting this? Did I like not play well enough? Or is this just part of the story? Like, could I literally be the greatest college QB of all time and they'd still bench me for Tommy Half-Heart Matthews? So silly. <laughs> They're kicking a field goal. They want pity points. And that's the game, baby. 40 to 9. They got a field goal. But yeah, I mean, I guess I got to rain the score up even more. I don't see a purpose in it, though. So I'm cool with this. And celebration time on that sideline. It took a change at quarterback. His thoughts will turn to the condition of Tommy Matthews. But for now, jubilation as they are. You're welcome, the coach. Champions. It's weird. I didn't see Tommy up there. Is he such a beta male that he wouldn't come up to the stage? Well, Tommy's injury certainly was a setback. But the bond that these two kids have is really strong. And although... Am I in a hospital? The heartbreak kids Wait, actually kind of praying that I'm in a hospital Tommy's right now. That would kind of make my day. Oh, yeah. Here we go. You hear from Give me the news, Doc. Nobody He's dead. He's stable. But we're only Shit. allowing family to go back right now. That's great. Because he's my brother. No, he's not. I'm, I'm going to go in there and rub in his face that I just dropped 40 points. This one is for my brother. Tommy Matthews. You think that's something? You should see it in person. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> There's something so satisfying about seeing him laying in a hospital bed. Oh, thanks so much for coming and bringing this. You kidding me? I would have missed this for anything. You're damn right. I wouldn't miss seeing Coach you in a hospital bed for anything. They waited as long as it could, but no one knew when you might wake up, so... All jokes aside, this is actually a horribly, horribly written story. For what reason does this story believe that I am supposed to be a brother to this person? They have given actually no reason at all. He has been nothing but inconsiderate and a shitty friend uh, and an asshole and a narcissist. Like truly, this was this may have been written by a 12 year old and I'm not kidding. I, I really don't understand the story at all. 
promise me one thing. Anything. Oh God, this is so. Next year, we make him win the championship together. <laughs> You'll be next dead year. by then, I hope. Where's that option? Die by then? No. All right, I'll agree. I know I will, brother. Together. <clears throat> well, Doc said I shouldn't overdo it. She said what caused all this? Yeah. Something about the stress from my filthy roommate leaving his dishes lying around the apartment. Oh, yeah, I'm sure that's a real Except possibility. It also could be that you have severe heart problems. Why am I even asking what caused this? It's very clear what caused it. You gotta start cleaning up after yourself. It's ridiculous. Really? Shut right the now? fuck. Oh god, not this dude. Is that him? He's an hour early. Dude, this is so dumb. Coach? Oh, look, too disappointed. No, no, I was just expecting Tommy. Come in. Care for a cupcake? No, thanks. So huh. I had a party? pack of cigarettes for lunch. No. Give me a minute. Actually, I'm, uh, I'm here to talk to you about next season. Yeah, sure, talk <laughs> Jesus away. Jesus Christ, give me some bullshit where I'm not uh, starting. There was something you said at the, uh, at the start of the season earlier. It really stuck with me. It's something good, I hope? Well, it was something you said about... Treat your men like your beloved sons, and I'll follow you into the deepest valley. Yeah, I definitely didn't say you that, though. Me, you got me thinking about that. At all. The way I treat you boys, and, and I wasn't being fair to you, or Tommy, for that matter, or the team. Wow, Coach, I really appreciate that. All that being said, I, I wanted to go into the offseason with everyone on the same page. I figured the best way that we could that would be to announce a starter. Tommy's gonna be our starter. But how could you possibly make that decision after the title game? Is Tommy even gonna be able to play? This yeah, was the This story was the written by right. actual chimpanzees. Just what the fuck are you smoking? I, know I just won the national championship. I hope you believe me when I say this that. story is fucking horrible. This is one of the Enjoy worst playthroughs I've ever seen in my whole life. What does this mean for me? Well, it, uh, it means that you are at a monumental crossroads in your life and you've got two choices. You can enter the draft. Based on what you did last year, I'd say you'd be lucky to get picked to the third round. What is this game but fucking smoking? I'm actually pissed off. What idiot wrote, wrote this? Jeez. You're I'm right, sure coach. I should have dropped 300 points in the national I'm championship. To be open and honest with you, from this moment forward, I'm giving it two years I would my own beloved son. That's really cute, coach. But I can guarantee if your own beloved son dropped a fucking 40 bomb on the Miami Hurricanes and the Natty Chip that you wouldn't bench him for a goddamn Make-A-Wish Cancer's kid! Fuck! By the way, I see it. You got too much raw athleticism to waste sitting on the bench. Your talent is a true gift. And it's one that I'm going to give you the opportunity to show it to the world. And how's that? You get to pick a new position on offense and get your heartbreak kids thing going back again. Heartbreak kids. I appreciate the faith, coach, but if I'm gonna play QB at the next level, it seems like leaving now is my only shot. That's probably true. Wow. I did not expect all this to come to a head so soon. I can't believe I did three episodes well, of this. Anything you need, just call. And when those NFL coaches come calling, trust that I'll have your back. I trust that you will die of lung cancer.
Why are you giving him a hug? Get the fuck out of here. Sure he just told you that the kid with half sure a goddamn are. heart is starting over you. General cleanliness of this apartment. Cupcake. So the NFL Combine. I spent so much time preparing for it. But some things you can't ever say you're fully ready for. That's how the week felt for me. Okay, and on that note, we're gonna be ending off Face the Franchise episode number three. If I can make it through this cringe fest, I will hit you up with an episode four, but we'll have to see, boys. I'll see you then, maybe. Goodbye, I love you.